Kuda, you, 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 you are holding back. There is something you need to say about the referee. Brazilian Bro, Omuri. First of all, <laughs> the PGM well, like <sighs> what you alcoa stadium. Imagine he was there yeah. holding his earpiece. Actually, so, all, all, all he was doing was listening, not yeah. speaking. Before you before you go with the with the refs, before you go, I want to just let me just give you context of what happened this weekend. Yeah. And then you can build on that. So the first one was Samuel Barrett. That one you guys were complaining about the blood on his head. Yeah. Um, I don't think that one you can do much about it because the law says if I see blood, you go off, yeah, right? Go off. But yeah. you guys were complaining. I I don't understand. Like we are complaining about two things. One, yeah. time. It was beyond the added time. Then secondly, he had the whole time to send him off. But akangoja temine tuna tuna nini kona ngera. Sour. So there's that. And then there's Rob Jones who gave the red card against Saliba. Mm-hmm. Now, that one, you, you're going to speak on that because it was a yellow card initially. Everyone had said, yeah, I, have, I, have, I have the points. Let because now they're in England. First of all, on Saturday, there were five red cards. Yeah, yeah. Which crazy. Five red five cards. Red cards yeah. And three of them were professional last man. Anderson uh, for Fulham. Same thing. Last man foul. Anthony Taylor gave Ran Fraser for the Leicester, professional last man. Mm-hmm. So three games in that weekend, you've given red cards for professional last man foul, right? Mm-hmm. Then, for, for then, the, for, then you for, get for to For the Ryan Fraser and Anderson, I just have a question as you're giving this. Uh, Were these straight reds fr- from the on-field referee? Straight reds, yes. From the on-field referee? Uh, okay. Actually, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, can't remember. I can't remember the Fraser one. Anderson, I think, was straight red. Straight red, red from the on-field, on-field referee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John Brooks. Uh, was the ref for Liverpool versus Chelsea mm-hmm. giving penalties and that's the one for Tosi. Who was VR? VR was none other than Michael mm-hmm. Oliver. And what in fact, you know about him? In the notes. And what yeah. do you know about him? And and the worst part about that one is they didn't even go to VR to check. Yeah. Yet, you'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Ah, yeah. I'll uh, get there. Uh, the last cook. one. I'll get there. <laughs> the last one mm-hmm. was, actually not the last one, second last one, was uh, Kudus and Imadli <laughs> giving him straight red. <laughs> oh, that one was red. No, that, that it was, was a yellow, then he went to... No, 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 that, that was a straight red. No, See, it was a, he gave him a yellow at first. See, the yellow was rescinded. Yeah, he was yeah. given a straight red. Yeah. Yeah. Because he slapped two people in the face. Actually, what? yeah. He, yeah, he was... <laughs> he stamped on Van der... He stamped on... Was it Van der Ven? He stamped on someone. Then when he got yeah. up, Nani came to really push his face. Then, gave then Richardson came, was pushed. Header, <laughs> then the then last one was Richardson. <laughs> yeah. So the refs, all those things, is like, bro, I can't even, even if I gave you yellow for each of them, he still he like actually red. wanted to give him three red cards. Yeah, he wanted to give him four. <laughs> those are three separate offenses. Yeah. Like, that was a kid red. That one, no complaints. That guy is going to get a sorry. He's coming back in. And December. then the last one is uh, producer's <laughs> favorite referee who refereed Wolves versus Man City. For the Bernardo offside, none other than Chris Kavanagh. Kavanagh. Hey, the producer loves So him. there were those moments, like the refereeing decisions this weekend, that the others were so good, others don't make sense. Biko, your turn. Okay, here's my here's my primary problem with the refereeing. I do not res- dispute that people are human beings, yeah, and people are human beings. We are all subjective to some degree. I mean, I am here as an Arsenal fan, but even in being subjective, we need consistency, yeah. If you're going to be bad, be consistently bad. I'll start with obviously the Arsenal call, yeah? Saliba going off, last man red card, yeah? First thing, what's the on field decision? Yellow card, yeah? Yellow card, the ref is right behind. If you look at where the ref is positioned, he's right behind Saliba and Evan Nelson, yeah? So he's looking at both of them. He's seeing the distance to goal. And one of the rules in last, what are the four things? Four tenets for last man rule, yeah? Distance to goal whether there's actually feasibility that you'll reach there, whether the goalie will reach there, and whether there's a covering man, yeah? Along the same line, you have Ben White. So they, the ref can see that, the linesman can see that. The ref gives a yellow. The linesman does not contradict that, yeah? Mm. No linesman contradicts that, because the linesman can see Ben White is along the same line, and Evan Nilsson, had the ball been hit by a Bournemouth player, was offside. But he can see Ben White is along the same line as Saliba running, yeah? Running mm. back. So there's a challenge. It doesn't mean you'll catch him, but you'll put pressure. Case in point, think about Ben White catching up to Leroy Sane in the Champions League, yeah? Mm. I mean, he, he, he got there, and it's like effective pressuring of somebody doesn't mean it's a guaranteed chance for him to score. The keeper was backpedaling. Let's give that context. So if the on-field decision by everybody else is yellow card... Do, is there a clear and obvious error that they have made an error that you must go back and give Because VR head? says the only way you can overturn the is only way you can clear and over, obvious. Overturn is if there's a clear and obvious. That's why very many times a decision might be wrong, but all these refs, is it, uh, who's this head of the refs? My, Michael McDean. Or Howard, 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 Howard Webb, Webb sorry, yeah. He always comes on like super spot and he's there like, it's year, not years a, later. Years later, like six months later, it's not a clear and obvious error. So there we are saying it's not a clear and obvious error. But we are going to give it. We're going to call the ref back. Fair. Let's accept it. Some of these decisions don't go your way. 
Fast forward, I had accepted it. Nelson made fun of me in the group. I was like, cool, you know what? Fine. I'm watching the Chelsea game and I'm in the shock. The same, same thing yeah? happens. Tosin is in the exact same position. In fact, you know, people are like, okay, maybe Saliba held him. Maybe he, he wasn't too sure where the man was, whatever. He's smart about being, having the cynical foul, yeah? Tosin clatters into Jota. In fact, almost breaks his rib, yeah? He actually down, broke it. Yeah, the guy is down on the floor and whatever. A ref comes on, clear yeah. yellow, yeah? Gives him a yellow card. He's the last man. Colwell is right there. But where Colwell is and where Ben White is, I mean, Colwell is right behind, but it's still the The reasoning is there's 40 yards going towards the goal. There's a whole distance to cover for you to reach there. It's not like you're in the final third. Gives him an, a yellow. Did he even go to VAR? No. The worst part was Jota got injured. Yeah. Jota got so injured. they had time. If they, they had to go time. to VAR, they would they have They actually checked. had time. But yeah, they Michael were like... Michael Oliver Kasamazi, like, bro. Just said, no, like, the big game being what, big whatever. Usi Aribu game. Usi Guse. I hate that Usi Aribu game because yeah. that's what happened to us against City. But now you go to Gary O'Neill. And Gary O'Neill made a very impassioned statement after the last minute goal. He was like, there are certain teams like City that are always going to get last minute goals. But also he gives a very good example of the bias in terms of decisions when it comes to City. Like, if that's a last-minute goal by Wolves against West Ham, they're not giving it. But is there an unconscious bias when you see it's Arling Haaland and you're like, I must give the foul, yeah. you know? So or, this is uh, Damot Gallagher, uh -huh. the former ref. Yeah. So he normally comes to yeah, Sky, to, comes to, Sky yeah, to give goes ref decisions and stuff. So he says that both decisions were correct. Uh -huh. So it's a, uh, the tossing one is a different situation. The ball is going down the middle. Oh, this is the Arsenal one. Yeah. The ball is going down the middle. White is a long way from Evan Nilsson, who is favorite to get the ball. Raya has backed off. So it's hard for him to get the ball. Um, and then producer's favorite, Sue Smith, said, would White have got there? It doesn't look like he would. I thought for both this and the tossing incident, it was the right decision. And then Gallagher goes on to add, on top of what he said, yeah. now for the Chelsea one, there are a number of things. Jota isn't in possession of the ball. That's number one. Number two, direction of the ball. It's going towards the corner flag. And then number three, distance from goal. It felt Colwell would have had the chance to break up the ground. But Kwani, Evan, let me, Nils let me, let me Evan, ask you Evan, Evan Nilsson was dribbling the ball with his with the first his air shoulders. Trostad kicked that ball to Saliba. Like Ali Rudisha ball, you must know. Mm. Evan Nilsson, how could she ball? Yeah. So that's the same thing he said <laughs> that Jota didn't touch didn't the ball, touch right? The ball. Mm. Then if you if you watched Arsenal was Bayern, the way Biko said, there's no way in your right senses you'd think Evan Nilsson is faster than Sane. But comparing the two distances, first of all, White Ali Sane. First, first did all, you see Sky did the the first the kilometers per hour? But, yeah. but you see, I think that, I thing, that thing is entire nonsense because now you're making the ref super subjective in assuming the kind of pace day Kyle Walker is going to have. Yeah. What if he's having an off day and he wouldn't catch you or he would catch you? Because, I mean, I saw Ben White chasing Sane and I was like, this guy is mad. Why is he doing it? Plus, and it's gets different there. when you are running with the ball. With and the without, ball and you're running without, without yeah. it. So why are we presuming? Yeah, I mean, Lukaku with the ball, he's never going to get there, bro. Yeah. One touch to the keeper. So, like, what the hell are we doing? And look at what Gary O'Neill is talking about. For me, it's actually that unconscious bias towards certain teams. You will see it. Think about when City played Liverpool, yeah? That last-minute Doku challenge. Like, yeah. I mean, guys stamps on Alexis. In that element of even thinking about it as a 50-50, the first thing the ref decides is it's not going to go Liverpool's way, yeah? Or think about even the... City United, the penalty, the Hoyland one. The, the Hoyland one, Rodri. yeah. Yeah. As in, you're just going to be like the unconscious bias towards certain things, and then now against certain teams. If you look at the coefficient for teams that lost to bad de refereeing decisions last year, I think Wolves were highest. That's why he was yeah. complaining. Yeah. They Wolves, had plus VR, five. They lost five points VR to VAR. Was, yeah, they suffered from. And VR. City gained three. Yeah, and Arsenal lost three points to VAR basically, and poor calls. So if you look at the last three years and look at the number of calls that have gone against Arsenal that have actually been monumental in terms of what you're doing. I think about Brentford when somebody was like, oops, we forgot to draw the lines. Oops. I think about Spurs and uh, Liverpool for Liverpool. Even Vas Wolves when, when Diaz was... When was Martinelli got uh, punished twice for Twice one, in, the same, yeah. in the same phase of play. Uh, Martinelli gets punished twice in the same phase of play. You know, then you think about Newcastle, the ball going out. Three, the one for three, Martinelli is even yeah. funnier because... This was it this year. Michael Oliver had the chance to give two yellows, yeah, yeah. And or he did. two fouls, and he does and, it. And he, and, and he, he did, gave yeah. one, yeah. and he gave one. And then you see the same thing we were talking about now. What Gary O'Neill was complaining about the rule that they said about being in the goalie's line of sight, yeah. regardless of what you do. So, so they, yeah, so they said that. Uh, so last year against Burnley, they scored a goal last minute, 
and then Kill, uh, Killman scored it. Killman actually. scored, yeah. and then the goal was disallowed yeah. because I don't know which there was a guy who was who next impeding to the keeper. The goalkeeper. It, it, within the vicinity of the goalkeeper. Yeah. So basically, he asked why was the goal disallowed. They did not say he was offside. They said he was within the vicinity of the goalkeeper, which was less than a meter. Yeah. That was the official explanation. Vicinity to the goalkeeper. Yeah. You are too yeah. close to the keeper, and you are sort of impeding. Yeah. So when this happened against the Man City one, me, to me, I think it's a it's it's a goal. It's sort of it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of whatever. Same. But for them to come back and say that, okay, now he's not. I mean, the, by the rule that they gave us. And you see proximity. The, and, Bernardo uh, is right there. right there. So that was the issue Gary O'Neill had. His issue was not at the oh, is he offside or whatever. It's like last year you told me our goal is allowed because hey. this guy was close to the keeper. Why is it that when Bernardo is close to our keeper, you're not, not giving the goal? Exactly. And you'll see there'll be absolutely no answer for, for this. So if you look They'll at apologize after they will yeah. not apologize, they'll Later. just forget it. So again, I'm just enumerating different decisions going against certain teams. So there's that predisposed bias where somebody like, that's an Arsenal player that's kicked the ball away. Right. Yeah, definitely. We have to stick to the letter of the law. Then well, who were we playing and Saka was on the ground? They're like, oh, nobody's trying to play it quickly. So nobody, this subjectiveness, this bias is against certain teams. Wolves have suffered for it. You know, Arsenal suffered for it. Chelsea have suffered for it to some extent. And even United. Yeah, sometimes United for sure. So you look at it and you're like, <laughs> at what point... Can we just be consistently bad? For me, I have no problem with making mistakes, but let's just like consistently be bad at it. I've not forgotten Rodri's handball against Everton. Yeah, like here. And they were just like, oops. Then two weeks later, they told them, hey, guys, sorry. Guys. Guy, they told Lampard that he, oh, officially, by the way, hey, Paul, bro. And those guys were fighting for relegation. Forget yeah. City fighting and for then, the title. And then, yeah? they, and then they, they give them a fine for uh, whatever time. Yes, yeah. Delaying restarts Delaying at the beginning of the season when so, it doesn't matter. I, I'm just like, yeah, for sure. Or this thing about delaying with goalkeepers and they're like, oh, you know, because Sobusla kicks the ball away, but they're the ones chasing the game. Isn't descent descent? Ben Isn't Wait, it the letter ben of the got another yellow card for time wasting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you're the one chasing the game. Anyway, me, let me tell you. I mean, I, 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 I said um, I, don't, I stopped caring about refs because I know it's influencing games, but if there's any positive that Ateta is going to get out of this, it's going to be that mentality of it's them against us. Hey, no, for sure. Now for we're sure. going to milk this. Now it's them against us. Now we're going to milk it. And he's going to use it as motivation in every training session, in every team meeting before. Like, it's going to be... I I, I know. I, I get that part as a fan. But I'm just thinking about it like sport-wise. Yeah? Like, 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 think about like when Luis Diaz scored and then they, it was ch chucked off. And later somebody's just like, hey, sorry. When professional footballers make mistakes, they get punished. castigated. Instantly. They get punished. They lose I would just contracts. Like Klopp na teta. <laughs> Forget even that. Like they lose all these kind of things. People are even racially abused. You know, God, like God forbid. When refs make mistakes, they just have a handshake and they continue earning next week. And how is it that we have video review? All of us that are not and professionals. It's it yeah, like we're out here watching it, and we're like. Yeah, that's definitely a mistake. Wait, ni nili kuna kujas kugani Premier League offside. Well, kwa ikuje October but wa kasema ti. They can't agree, bro. They can't agree. They can't agree. Where will they make mistakes from? It's like a goal line technology. La Liga doesn't have goal line technology. Yeah. yeah they are, but they have Microsoft moving 3D <laughs> cameras all over. Yeah, but they they're don't. like, ah, the ball going there's, there's, in. There's no. a game last season I was watching. La Miria Mal scored. <laughs> that ball went over. They were like, there's no camera in the goal even, line. Even I'm Real sorry. conceded a goal like that. But to Kasema VR in Asema, the ball, I could pitch a line. Now it's clear. It's, it's in. But they're like, oh, we have no goal line technology. Yeah. But Microsoft is paying a billion a year. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. 